I've been keeping the Sabbath in every single way possible because over the years, my beliefs on when the Sabbath takes place have changed. Growing up in a Christian household, I used to believe the Sabbath on Sunday. But my first few years keeping the Torah, I kept the Sabbath on Saturday because Saturday is the seventh day of the week in the Gregorian calendar. And it was the only day that most Israelite camps and organizations claim the Sabbath take place. Most Israelites would agree that the Sabbath is indeed on Saturday. But over time, questions arose in my head about Saturday. Like, how do we even know that that is the same day that our ancestors kept the Sabbath? And why are so many Israelites just keeping the Sabbath on Saturday when there was no such thing as Saturday in Old Testament times? Is it simply because it's the most convenient for us? Is it simply because that's all we know? Is it simply because that's all we were given? Why was I keeping the Sabbath on this day with no proof? So from then I went on to keeping the Sabbath based off of the moon. Because many Israelites argue that keeping the Sabbath based off of the moon made more sense and is more in line with when our ancestors kept the Sabbath. I kept the Sabbath based off of the moon for about two years. Then I realized, wait, this is even worse than keeping the Sabbath on Saturday. At the end of every lunar cycle, there's an extra day. There's an eight day week, one extra day to every last week of the month. That means that there will be 12 extra days in a year. If every month had an eight day week at the end of it, surely something in scripture would have talked about that. This happens to be because in order to calculate the Sabbath based off the lunar cycle alone, you would have to assume that the days of the year and week are all calculated by the moon alone. However, this is far from the truth. What does the sun do? The days of the week and the Sabbath cannot be calculated by the lunar cycle because there are 30 days in a lunar cycle and seven days in a week. But you cannot divide 30 by seven equally. Therefore, you will end up with an extra day every last week of the month. Once I realized this, I went about six to seven months just thinking that no one knows the true Sabbath and no one can determine the true Sabbath because all of our history was lost. So I started doing the Sabbath on days that were most convenient to me due to my work schedule and all the time that I had available off. So I started keeping the Sabbath on Mondays because I didn't have to go to work that day. But I kept digging because I knew deep down that there was more to it. I knew that there was some type of way we can get close to our original Sabbath somehow in this captivity. So I said, instead of doing the Sabbath based off of the beginning of the lunar cycle, how about doing it based off of the beginning of the year? So I basically went based off of the first new moon of March 2020, which was March 25th, and counted seven days after and did the Sabbath on Tuesday every week of the year. But the problem with that was the fact that even this was a little bit mathematically incorrect because the last week of the year would be 11 days from the last Sabbath of the year, which would be Tuesday, March 9th, 2021 to the, to the first Sabbath of the new year would be Saturday, March 20th, 2021. That's 11 days, which is far too long for a week. However, this Sabbath calculation was a lot more accurate than that of the lunar Sabbath, which has an eight day week at the end of each month. But 11 days seemed a little too far fetched for one week. So I had to get this last week number close to seven as possible. Also, because the lunar Sabbath is the most common among Old Testament only Israelites, I must show more evidence to prove it to be mathematically inaccurate. According to Leviticus 23 and 15 through 16, seven Sabbaths would give you 49 days and the next day would be the 50th day. I mean, obviously that's common math, right? Seven times seven is 49 plus one is 50. But in the lunar Sabbath, seven Sabbaths equal 50 days already. The next day would be the 51st day. The only problem I have with the Saturday Sabbath is the lack of backing behind it. 
the white man told us that Saturday is the seventh day of the week. Therefore, us as Israelites just ran with it, blindly calling it our Sabbath day. If the white man were to tell us that Sunday was the seventh day, then we would keep it on that day too. But it's all right because us as a people are just beginning to wake up and are still learning. I'm not bashing anyone at all. As long as you are striving to keep the commandments, that's righteousness. But it is still my duty to lay logic out on the table. What is it that makes Saturday the seventh day of the week anyway? Who created the Gregorian calendar? Did the Gregorian calendar even exist in scriptural times? Are the Gregorian weeks determined and affected by the luminaries like every other time in scripture? If the Gregorian calendar said Monday was the seventh day of the week, would you still keep the Sabbath on Saturday? These are all questions that you must ask yourself if you keep Shabbat on Saturday. Now it's time to open our minds because I'm going to show you the true Sabbath day that our ancient ancestors have kept. Yes, Yah is revealing the truth to the masses. Let's lay out things that are obvious about the Sabbath in scripture. The Sabbath does not change from month to month, causing extra days in the week each month because that would go against Leviticus 23 and 15. However, we know that the Sabbath was determined by the luminaries as any other day was. The lights in the heavens were created for days, signs, seasons, months, and for years. What we as a people seem to be a little bit confused about is we think that every single occasion is determined by the moon. The day, the weeks, the months, the years, the days of the year, the days of the month, and the Sabbath as well as the feast days. We think that the moon alone dictates the calculation of all these occasions. However, in actuality, both the sun and the moon have equal responsibility. As stated in Genesis chapter 1, verse 5, light is day. According to Genesis 1 and 16, the greater light rules the day. This means that the sun determines the day. You already know this, but did you ever think about it deeply? Yes, the moon does determine the months and the days of the month, but the sun determines the year. Think about it for a second. In the Gregorian calendar, what determines the beginning of the year? January 1st, right? But in our ancient Israelite culture, the spring harvest season determined our new year. Now, what determines the spring harvest season? Or what determines the seasons in general? The sun. Okay, so the sun determines the year. That also means that the sun determines the days of the year so let's get this straight the sun determines the year and the days of the year and the moon determines the months and the days of the month here is how we would have a weekly sabbath that doesn't add extra days and is mathematically correct using the vernal equinox the vernal equinox is the first day of spring each and every year during the vernal equinox, the sun rises directly in the east and sets directly in the west. This is the only time of year that this happens. Also, this is the only day of the year that there is exactly 12 hours in both day and night. Most vernal equinoxes take place on March 20th, but they occasionally happen on the 19th or the 21st. After the vernal equinox happens, air temperature starts to gain constant heat and flowers and seeds will go into full bloom and pollen will fill the air. Shortly after the vernal equinox, the last frost of the year comes and after that heat now begins to rise, just small amounts every day up until about late June, which is the peak of the summer solstice. So yeah, just like the moon has phases, the sun also has phases as well. So our people calculated the beginning of a beeb by whenever the new moon after the vernal equinox appeared. Remember, the moon determines the months. New year begins with the new month, meaning the month of a beeb would have to begin with the next new moon after the vernal equinox. Our ancestors did not determine a beeb based off of when it began to get warmer outside. They knew when Abib was by precise calculations with the sun, a part of the luminary calendar given to us by the creator in the beginning. The most recent accounts of our ancestors calculating 
times that I can present is a tradition of the Cherokee, Creek, Seminole, and other Southeastern Indigenous Americans calculating their feast days. This is an excerpt from the book called History of the American Indians by James Adair. They began the year at the first appearance of the first new moon of the vernal equinox according to the ecclesiastical year of Moses. James Adair in this book is comparing the American Indian to the Israelites of the Bible and he found that they have very many similar characteristics. He lived with these Native American tribes for years and noted their activity. And he even noted that the peoples of these tribes knew that the beginning of each year began in spring, specifically the new moon after the vernal equinox. So how would the Sabbath be calculated? Here's what we all been waiting for me to address. How would the Sabbath be calculated with the vernal equinox? Every seven days after the vernal equinox would be the Sabbath. We cannot say every seven days after the first new moon will be the Sabbath because the mathematics won't add up. If we calculate the Sabbath based off of the new moon, the Sabbath of this year will then be Monday because that's seven days after the new moon. However, if you keep going from Monday for the whole year, you will then see that the last week of the year would only have four days. April 13th is the first new moon after the equinox. It's making Shabbat on Mondays for the whole year of 2021. The last Sabbath of the year will be March 28th, 2022. The first new moon of the year would then be April 2nd. That's a four day week, which is unacceptable. A week should have a minimum of seven days. However, when the Sabbath is calculated from the vernal equinox, we get Friday for the Sabbath. It will continue to be Friday all year until March 20th, 2022. After that, the Sabbath will be on Saturday for the rest of 2022. This method of calculating the Sabbath is pretty much perfect However, there is an unavoidable eight-day week at the end of most years, but that is far more acceptable than an eight-day week at the end of each month portrayed in the Lunar Sabbath. The Sabbath still can be kept during an eight-day week, but surely if there was an eight-day week each and every single month, Scripture would have mentioned it at least once and Leviticus 23 would not make sense. So, the Sabbath changes only from year to year, not from month to month. This year, the Sabbath will be on Fridays. It's important to take note that other feast days are not determined the same way that the Sabbath is. For example, see, Passover is a day of the month, just like all the other feast days, like Day of Atonement, Feast of Trumpets, Feast of Tabernacles, etc. These are all days of the month. For Passover, for example, we will have to wait till the first new moon after the vernal equinox, because that is the beginning of the year. After the first new moon of the vernal equinox, we would then count into the 14th day of the month. The 14th day of the month at even is Passover. So with that being said, the other feast days are not determined in the same way that the Sabbath is. See, the Sabbath is a set apart day. It's a set apart day. Therefore, we are supposed to keep it set apart. You have to understand that the Sabbath is a weekly day. Since it's weekly, it goes by the solar cycle instead of the lunar cycle because weeks are not in line with the month because you have to understand 52 weeks in a year, seven can be divided into 52 evenly, all right? 364 days in a year, sometimes it's 365, but the Book of Enoch says that it's 364 days and actually some years are indeed, even to this day, 364 days. So you take 364, you can divide that into set, you can divide that by seven equally. Therefore, the weeks are a yearly or a solar event, not a lunar event. You can't divide seven into 30 equally. It doesn't work. It's 30 days or 20, 29.5 days in the, the lunar cycle. 
So with that being said, don't try to celebrate other days just simply by saying, oh, we're going to recognize the first day. I'm going to count to the 14th day and that's Passover. No, it doesn't work like that. You will still have to go off the moon with these other days. If you want to see what the new moon looks like, check out the link in my description. I already have a video on that. But hopefully you guys learned something with this video. So shalom, wa baraka, mispaka. By supporting my channel through Patreon.com, you are aiding in the progress and production of these videos. You are also helping me raise the funds to launch official archaeological excavations throughout North America to uncover more true Hebrew artifacts and remains in this land. You will also see exclusive content that you will find nowhere else. If you like to build your walk or your spirit, you must like to build your health as well. Check out our website, JNR Eating Herbs, for all your holistic needs. We have over 100 quality products that include supplements, teas, soaps, incenses, tonics, and more at very affordable prices. Click our link in the description to heal yourself today.